It's great for Command Sergeant Major Montour and I to come down here and share just a little bit of time with you today. And put it in context, 39 great Americans stand in front of me right here who are going to raise their right hand and uh, retake their oath and their commitment to each other, the polar bears, the commandos, the United States Army, and the cause of freedom everywhere in the world. No small thing. And that's why we're here to kind of participate in today's activities. So that the context is this. It's the second day, or correction, the tenth day of the second month, 210, of the year 2010. And today, 210, of which these soldiers are 39, 210, Second Brigade, 10th Mountain Division Combat Team soldiers will re-enlist. It's an individual choice that you make based on your personal goals, objectives, your personal values, and how you feel about the contribution you're making. But the reason we want to do it in mass is also to make another statement about the significance of your re-enlistment. And that is, while it's an individual uh, endeavor, each one of your individual re-enlistments combined together adds up to these 210 great commandos that are re-enlisting today. Your individual effort to re-enlist directly affects the mission and the success of the 2nd Brigade Combat Team. The Polar Bears, 2nd Brigade Combat Team, and 10th Mountain Division, in this case the 1st Armored Division as well. This mission here in, in Iraq. Your individual effort has a direct impact on the entire success of the whole formation. So I'm trying to make a connection with you between your individual act and the group's collective performance. Without your individual effort, the entire mission doesn't get accomplished. Repeat after me. I state your name. I do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? To support and defend? To support and defend. The Constitution? The Constitution. Of the United States? Of the United States. Against all enemies? Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic? Foreign and domestic. That bear true faith? That bear true faith. And allegiance? And allegiance. To the same? To the same. That will obey the orders? That will obey the orders. Of the President of the United States, President of the United States, and the officers appointed over me, and the officers appointed over me, according to the regulations, according to the regulations, and the Uniform Code of Military Justice, and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. I'm salute you, guys. Shake your hand. Today's your day. I'm saluting you. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to give a small token of how important your contribution is. Appreciate it. I'm standing here and way off my notes and stuff like that. 34 Wolverines, I think 30 of whom are here today, four are out on a mission. The fight continues to go on. 34 Wolverines who are 34 of 210 commandos re-enlisting today. So today is the 10th uh, day of the second month of the year 2010. And 210 2nd Brigade, 10th Mountain Division commandos are re enlisted today. I state your name. I do you solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To support and defend. To support and defend. defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I bear true faith and allegiance. And I bear true faith and allegiance to the same. To the same. That I will obey the orders. That I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. Of the President of the United States. And the officers appointed over me. And the officers appointed over me. According to the regulations. According to the regulations. And the uniform code. And the uniform code of military justice. Of military justice. So help me God. So help me God. Graduate. Shake your hand there.
it shows camaraderie. It really does. It brings us together as a unit, I think. And honestly, it's one team, one fight. So when we really enlist together, it shows the team.